tell us what was the problem that you were facing uh, before you received your healing? Um, so for the past two years, I've been having like on and off pain in my lower back. And then um, like the past, like eight months ago, I went to a chiropractor and he said my hip is higher than the other. And um, I was like, well, that makes sense why I'm having so much pain in my back. And um, the past two months, it got really bad because of the pregnancy. And then two weeks before the prayer that I received, um, I, I wasn't able to uh, lay down or sit for long. I had to stand up and keep standing. And going to bed at night, I was, uh, I was really sad because I'm like, I knew the pain that was coming. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to go to bed, but like I have to, you know. So for um, two weeks prior from the prayer that I received, I was, uh, I was getting really emotional because of the pain and whatnot. And, um, and so let's go ahead. We actually have a clip of uh, last week's prayer of what happened. So let's just fix our eyes on the screen real quick. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command every sickness and disease to leave God's people in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody that has hip issue, hip pains, right now God is touching you. It's like almost like your hips like um, not aligned or something. Right now God is touching your hips in Jesus' name and it's going to pop back in place and that pain that's associated with in your lower back will go in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we release your word. We release your power to touch you in Jesus' mighty name. If you're watching online, distance is not a barrier and God wants to touch you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever is done here is being done right there in your living room, in your bedroom, whatever you're at, in your car as you're watching Holy Spirit. There's no distance for Him. He can touch you wherever you are. All right. Yes. Okay. So when you heard that, what was going through your mind and what did you do? Um, so right when he said that, I was like, oh my goodness, that's me, you know? Um, so I put, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I don't know. I was a little bit hesitant. I'm like, maybe it's not for me, but I'm like, whatever. So I just put my hand on my back and then I felt this prompting, like Holy Spirit, I guess. Uh, he was like, put both your hands <laughs> on your hip, like both of them. So I was like, whatever. Uh, so I did it. And then... Um, and we know what you mean. <laughs> and then I felt like this pressure just go like in my um, stomach. And then that night I was like, I went to sleep. I woke up, I was like, oh my gosh, I slept with no pain. And then this whole week I've been like sleeping with no pain. So. Amen. Do you have pain now? Uh, no. Okay, so even her being pregnant, uh, you know, getting close to her, you know, due date and walking in that type of pain, it gets worse and worse and worse. But Jesus Christ cares about even those things where she couldn't even take care of her son. She couldn't go and function about her day. And so... We encourage you, and I want her to share a word of encouragement. When you hear us praying up here, that it's not a waste of time. We're not just saying things, but it's with full intent so that we can receive the healing that Jesus Christ has for us, the deliverance, the breakthrough, whatever it is that you're facing and encountering, that you would receive with faith and believe that for yourself today. Amen? Amen. What would be your word of encouragement for those that are maybe doubting for their healing or for their breakthrough? What would be your word of encouragement, Vera? Um, don't be afraid to accept your healing. Uh, you are special to God, and He does want to see you uh, healthy and uh, not in pain. Yes.